I stop this here? <laughs> Get uh, the light here going on this crazy contraption. There we go. That was um, a video from this morning where I taped. I was taping uh, early this morning, but I talked too long and everything got on this thing a little too long and. What I'm trying to ask for, and basically beg for, is help. I'm tired of tough love because tough love is not what we need. We don't need tough love. We need love. We need somebody who loves us and cares about us enough to make sure that we have what we need. Renee needs new shoes that costs hundred and seventy dollars for the pair that we don't have the money to get we oh she also needs um, tooth office 2010 for a college class because she has to have that uh, the um, professional version of it because it has um, excess on it. Excess is a program that she needs to do some of her uh, homework assignments on. And how people tell her, I'll go down here about a mile up the road every time they have uh, tutoring or open, um, open um, computers to do her homework or go up to the library which is another uh, distance um, and you gotta go in a roundabout way to get to the library you can't just get to the library straight shot you gotta go around and then it's 1.7 miles to the library from our home from our home it's 0.90 miles or 0.9 miles I mean excuse me 0.9 miles which is most a mile, one tenth a mile away from being a mile, and it's a little over a mile to the library. So add it up. It added up. How many miles, or how much gas would we be spending if we went to the library every day, versus staying home, being on the internet, doing your homework on the internet, having the proper program and the proper tools that she needs. I also need new t-shirts, new underpants, new outer shirts and and pants. Renee needs shirts and pants. We have enough to get by but what we have is wearing out, wearing thin, wearing holes in them, basically wearing out. A lot of people say, I'll go to Goodwill or go um, uh, Salvation Army. Go here, go somewhere else and get somebody else's used clothing. And I've done that I don't know how many times. Yeah, you can get some good clothing and other times you can get clothing that still needs to be fixed, hemmed up, uh, sewed, uh, whatever, you know, the case may be. In order before you can even wear them. Well, there's more money out because you got to find somebody to sell them and that you got to pay to sell them. No matter which way you look, I can never win for losing. My father doesn't want to talk to me for asking for help. People's constantly turning me into the law here in Carroll County, Ohio for. Uh, asking for help I'm tired of it I've had it up and over my head of how so-called Christians are treating me a, a pastor evangelist because they think that me and Renee make a lot of money we don't they make more than we do when you get one thousand three hundred forty eight dollars a month plus sixty six dollars a month in food stamps People think, well, just live with it on our means. 
We shouldn't have an alarm system. We shouldn't have TV. We shouldn't have the internet. We shouldn't have home phone. We shouldn't have uh, uh, cell phones. We shouldn't have all this stuff that a lot of other people take for granted. Oh, you make $30 an hour, so you can afford it. Well, let me tell you something. Jesus said, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Press down, shaking gather, and running over, and it's better to give than to receive. You're always also talking about tough love. Well, let me give you some tough love. And see how you'd like it. You wouldn't like it. You want to dish out, dish out, dish out, talk, 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 but yet you don't want to react. You don't want to do what God has really told you to do. It's in His Word. Open it up. Read it. Don't assume that's how it should be. Read it. Study it. All I'm asking is for some help. WJWFox8.com WJW Cleveland Fox 8 You know, which, however cannot combination you want to try to look it up on the internet. It's on the internet. Go on there and send an email. Talk to him about me and Renee. Ning help. I have, wait, I have helped so many people in my lifetime. They needed help, and I've never asked for a dime in my lifetime. I'm just tired of it. It's not going to get any better. And I'm not asking for a hand out all the time. I'm asking for a hand up all the time because I can't work. I can't hold a job, and it's not going to get any, any, any better. Thank you. God bless you.